One of the things you need to think about when you upload your YouTube video is the visibility, meaning do you make it private or unlisted or public or scheduled or members only? There's a lot of choices. So I thought in this video, what I would do is I would walk through each one of those settings, kind of give you a little bit more information about what they do and give you what I do and why to help you decide how to mark your videos for visibility when you upload them. If you want to just save a lot of time on your upload, like for example, I upload mine as unlisted. I'll explain that in just a minute why I do that. But if you want to do it as your default settings, let me show you how to set that. And keep in mind, you can change this at any time. You want to go to settings. So over on the left hand side, and again, I'm on a desktop. You want to go to settings. It's all the way down to the bottom. Click on that and you wanna to go to Upload Defaults, and it is exactly like it, like it says. Right here, my visibility is set to unlisted. Notice I can make it public, private, or unlisted. I've chosen to keep mine always unlisted when I upload a video. There's nothing here or here. I'll, I'll, just to show you what happens. Now notice, notice the save. I'm gonna put it back to unlisted. See, I've already saved that, and I'm gonna close it. But once you do that, then every time I upload a video, it will automatically be set to unlisted. Now let me show you how to change it on an individual video basis. So we're going to use this video right here. It's a video I did with a couple of buddies when we all hit 10,000 subscribers, and it's already set to private. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the pencil and go into the video details. And right here is where we're going to be, visibility. Now you have these options. Again, you have private, unlisted, members only, and you only have members only if you have memberships turned on. I do. If you want to join, there's a link down in the description, public, and also schedule. So let's go through each one of these so you can kind of understand what each one does. So let's talk first about private. Private is a way to upload a video and make sure no one ever sees it. I do that sometimes. Let's say I've I've uploaded a video and I just want it for reference, but I, I want to make sure nobody ever sees it. I mark it to private. You can share privately. And when you click that, you get this box. You can invite people to look at it, but you've got to know their email address. They've got to be signed in. And you can click this notify via email. I've only done this a few times. And every time the person said they never got the email. So I kind of treat private as it's uploaded. I'm not worried about it getting views or comments or anything like that. It's just there. And at some point, if I want to flip it to unlisted, I'll flip it to unlisted. Next is unlisted. Now, if you remember in my default settings, I keep mine set at unlisted. Let me tell you first about how unlisted works. So if you have a video that's unlisted, the only way anyone outside of you can see that video is they must have the link. So for example, sometimes I'll create a video. And again, since I'm, I'm uploading it as defaulted, or as, since I'm uploading it as unlisted, I may send it to a buddy of mine and say, hey, you want a preview of the video coming up? You know, I'm going to release it next week or whatever. Well, by making that unlisted, he can watch it because I've sent him that link. Without that link, he wouldn't be able to see it. So that's why I do that. I'm not quite ready to make it public, but I don't want to leave it private because, again, going back to private, if I, if I make it private and I send it to him, he's going to say, well, I can't see it, which you'd be right because I didn't use the little magic box with his email address. So unlisted is a way that you can share a video without anybody, without the world seeing it unless they have the link. Now, this is very important to remember. Playlists have the exact same visibility options. You can do public, private, and unlisted. Live streams the same way. I think shorts as well. I don't do shorts much anymore, but I think, I think it's the same. If you have a playlist that is set to public, playlists would work the same way. So let's say you have a playlist set to unlisted. Nobody can see it. But let's say you've put videos into a playlist and the playlist is set to public. If you put a video in there that's unlisted, it will be seen, but only in that playlist. So I just mentioned that to say, if you've got a video that you don't want the whole World Wide Web to see for whatever reason, and it's unlisted, don't put it in a public playlist. or Otherwise, everybody can see it. Now let's talk about public. Whenever you make a video public, everybody can see it. Now, this is all basically on hitting save, and I, and I probably forgot to say that, but whatever change you make here, you've got to hit save for it to take effect. When you make your video public, it is public. Anybody can see it anywhere, whether you embed it, whether you share it on your YouTube channel. And this is really important. 
watch hours and uh, view time, all of that that YouTube looks at only counts on a public video. I'm going to go a little deeper on this. You may publish a video, let's say on March 1st, but you don't make it public until June 1st. YouTube considers the June 1st as your publish date, but it's not the date you uploaded. It's the date you finally made it public. And the reason is, is because that's when YouTube starts the, the, the counter going, if you will, that again, there's your, your watch hours and your views. If your video is not public, same thing goes for a live stream, then none of that will count. So it's very important if you want to your, have your views counted and you want to have your watch hours counted to make sure when you're ready, you mark public. Now, you may ask, well, Kevin, why not just upload it public? It's because I don't want to have to go through everything, hit save, and then bang, the video's there. A lot of times I'm uploading a video and I want to still tweak the description some, or, oh, I need to add some affiliate links in there. Oh, I need to do an end card and all this other stuff. And I can go back and do that, but I want to have it as ready and as optimized as I can. So then when it's public, all of that is there. Now, before I show you how to schedule it, I want to show you this one is members only. You will only have this option if you have YouTube memberships turned on. And by the way, if you want to join mine, there's a link down below. But when you click that, you notice right here, I have these options. So let's say this video, I just want to share with just the members. I can choose all the channel members, or I've only got two tiers right now. There's the fist bump and there's the super crew. So I think in the super crew, which is the higher one, I've got turned on so they get like, you know, special behind the scenes and special videos that only they can see. So I would click that. And then if I hit save, that's how they would see it. So you'll only see this. If you don't see this, it means you don't have memberships yet. All right, so now let's talk about scheduling a video. It's still in the same area in the visibility settings on the video. So again, I upload as unlisted. I make sure my video is as optimized as I want it to be with descriptions and everything else on there. And then keep in mind, my video is set to unlisted. So this applies whether you do private or unlisted. When I go to schedule it, I'll go here and I'm just going to do this one. I'm going to say we're going to make this on, I'm just going to go out to uh, October 24th. I'll leave it 10 a.m. And I'm going to hit done. And look at this. It changed that. And you notice it's from private to public. So whenever you schedule a video, YouTube will automatically take the visibility of that, the setting, and change it to private. And then on the date and the time you've chosen, and this is a default time. On the date and time you've chosen, it makes the video public for everybody to see. Notice the save button all of a sudden is not grayed out because it's saying, hey, make sure. Now, is that when you want it? You can save it right here. But if you decide you don't want it, actually, let me go ahead and hit this. I'm going to hit save. And now it's, oops, I'm going to hit save. And now it's scheduled. You can override any of these at any time. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to click on save or publish. I'm going to go back to private. Actually, I'll make it here. I'll make it private and I'll hit done. And every time you hit done, when you change something, you're going to hit save. And now this video is set back to private. Now, if you remember, I said there's another way you can do this. You don't have to go into each video description. So if I click the pencil, I get into that. But if I go back to here, you can also change the visibility right here. If you know it says visibility, all these are public. Go right down to this one. This is the one we've been using right here. And even then it tells you, if you hover over it, it gives you kind of like a, a tip of what each one is. I can change this right here and the same thing. I can make this unlisted, hit save. It will do it. Members only, public. But I'm going to go back and just make it that. I'm going to cancel it. So if you don't want to go into there, like into the description, this is kind of a shortcut way of getting to the same thing. You can always change the visibility of a video at any time. You can take a public video and make it unlisted. You can take an unlisted video and make it private. You can take a public and make it private. I've done that at times. I would recommend doing that over ever, ever, ever deleting a video. If you delete a video, it's gone forever, for good, goodbye. Amen. You're not going to get it back. So I hope this helps you kind of understand that. And if you want to see the video about the other things you really need to do after you upload to make sure your video gets seen by as many people as possible, check out the video on the screen. I'm Kevin. Thank you so much for watching.